do you want to know what can cause signs to stop? Then The Three-Body Problem by Xi Shen Lu is a book for you. This is the first book in the Three-Body Problem series. The world of science is being threatened. During the Chinese Cultural Revolution, science became antagonistic to political favor. Ye Wenjie is a scientist who survived the persecution by being politically cautious, but events conspired to make Ye Wenjie a target of the politicians, only to find sanctuary in an isolated political radio base, a base which was claimed to be used for military applications. As scientists were in short supply, Ye Wenjie had the required skills that were needed to maintain, operate, and develop the technology. Decades later, with persecution of scientists through the Cultural Revolution, a harsh but distant memory, science has advanced tremendously, but science seems again to be under threat as scientists are dying with an increase in crime against academia and research institutions. There does not seem to be a political motivation for the acts. What defines science is also under threat, for the methods of science are failing. Science depends on replication, but the results of an event will be repeated given the same conditions. But even with advanced technology of particle colliders, different results occur with the same conditions. Wang Miao is a scientist who is asked to participate in a group from which many of the dead scientists have been associated with. Through the investigation, Wang Miao comes across a game that the scientists play called Three Body. The game is extremely immersive with the goal of predicting events. Within the game, civilizations develop during stable eras and fall during chaotic eras. The eras can change quickly with the world undergoing seemingly random and extreme changes. How are the events of the Cultural Revolution, the death of scientists decades later, and the Three Body game related? Some caveats for the book includes that there is a plethora of science terminology in the book, written in a way that blends the science and science fiction, which makes it difficult to separate when the science ends and the science fiction begins. There are sections filled with science terminology, ideas, and people involved. If a reader has a background in various science fields, the science references can add depth to understanding the situations being presented. Without the science background, the sections can be difficult and confusing to read. Till the next review.